I came to blow, 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 blow Up everything you've ever known, 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 known Expel you out of house and home, 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 home Biome to biome, you shall roam, 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 roam Yeah, yeah, cause I'm a creeper, I will rob All of your items, that's my job, yeah Hello guys, and welcome back to episode 4 of Minecraft Let's Play uh, you may be able to realize that I'm running a texture pack here, and um, let me just tell you something right now. Our old world got deleted. Somehow it did. One day I was trying to spruce things up just before I started recording again, and it like crashed. And after that I tried to get back on it, and the whole world had been corrupted or something. So, I tried to reinstall it and everything, but it still was corrupted, and I had to completely restart. That's why I haven't had a video up in a long time. It's because I've been just frustrated, and I haven't found the time to do it. So, um, what I'm actually going to do today is I'm going to show you some um, vi uh, worlds that I've generated with seeds and let you pick which ones you want. Or There's five of them, and I'm going to let you vote on which one you want me to build my house and start my Let's Play in. And uh, let's go. Okay, we have five of them here. Let's start on number one. I believe this is the glacier seed. And I just did this because I found a lot of good stuff about it. And I have single player commands installed, by the way. And um, I'm flying. <laughs> so, yeah, I've started. I, you're not going to believe this, but like five minutes before I started recording this video right now, I did this entire thing again but figured out just after it that I had the mic unplugged from the computer. <laughs> I felt like such an idiot. Well, anyway, here we've got... Ooh, a brown sheep. We've got, like, lots of hills and stuff like that and mountainous regions, and I kind of like those, but I'm looking for something kind of more flat, you know? But I'm going to let you guys decide on where I build it, because I, I want my subscribers and viewers to be a part of this. And why does it keep doing that? And I like something like this, like walled in with mountains, which I think is aw awesome. And I think that's an error right there, like a rendering error where the world like didn't render it right, because that shouldn't be completely flat. But if I'm, if I'm wrong, you can correct me. But something like this, if I was to build here... I would cut down these trees and just like build in the center. I like to build in these areas because it's kind of secluded and it's easy to find a home. Because you'll you'll probably recognize a giant. Oh my god! Die music. You could probably notice a giant crevice in the middle of the world, and you're like, "Oh, there's my house." But yeah. This is the first world that I did, and this thing has a lot of cool overhangs and um, great places to build overall, like this and over there and stuff. And oh, yeah, I remember that. There's like a giant lava pool right there, and I love that. Um, thanks for to um, so Extreme Gamer 756 for showing me that you can install single player commands on uh, Mod Manager. And um, ever since I've done that, I've been like messing around with like spawning mobs and stuff like that. And, stuff like and anyway, this is a really cool um, world and everything. So, um, But I'm going to have to keep each of these limited to get them all in there. So um, we're going to wrap this up and uh, go on to the next world. I will see you in just a second. Hello guys, we're back and we're going to um, go to the second world now, which I can't remember what the seed is, but I know it's an awesome one. I chose this world because it looked pretty cool overall, and I don't know why I stopped here. <laughs> I like froze right there like after I stopped recording the last time and did that, and why am I flying so fast? Oh well, I can do that. Um, faster than but this world has a lot of great overhangs and floating islands and stuff and I love that and um has a pretty cool waterfall there and yeah that ties the whole thing together as a waterfall anyway I love the floating islands and the uh, purely secluded part about all this so um give this one consideration when you're picking and um 
Also, random shout out to my um, friend. Um, well, he added me as a friend. McSkillet. He's doing a Minecraft Let's Play right now, and he is extremely talented in commentating. And um, I asked him how to install HD texture packs, and uh, he gladly gave me some advice with it. And let me turn the fog down. And he gave me some advice on it, and it really helped. And um, so if you haven't checked him out yet, uh, watch his videos and subscribe. And um, he's um, a very good commentator, so check him out. And um, yeah, I'm running Mises um, HD 64 by 64 pack right now, and I thought it was an awesome pack, so I downloaded it. And oh my god, the lag is unbearable. I'm going to have to cut it down to short range. And is it me? Or is that completely random? I, w I just set my foot down and it started running like this whole way, which I thought was retarded, but anyway. Um, yeah, this is random. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is another one that you can possibly um, vote on and um, check it out. But I've got to wrap this up, so I'll see you on the next world. Bye. Alright, we're back and we're going to check out the next world on our list, and that is world three. I also can't not remember what the seed was for this one, but I thought it was pretty cool. I stopped it right here. And, um, there's a freaking sweet lava pool over here. And anyway, um, I'm flying normal on this one, so yay. Um, this one is probably my favorite of all of them, just for the fact that it's, like, super epic. With all these random in like indents and stuff and overhangs and arches and stuff I just think this one's great I mean if um, if you're tr looking for my advice on which one to pick I'd pick this one because it is sweet as crap make it through this little hole on top here and that is a pretty sweet little opening there but um, also um, these are l labeled from one to five so um, if you're gonna vote, vote um, pick like pick world one, two, three, or four, or five, or whatever, because I have these numbered and like that. And whichever one that gets the most votes, if I don't just get one vote, will um, be the one that I play on. And um, yeah, I love these worlds because they're so random and. Uh, it makes me wonder how people come up with these seeds, like these really sweet seeds. I guess they just kept trying until they found one sweet one, and they just kept it. But, um, all of these are made with seeds. I didn't randomly generate any. Although, if you do want me to randomly generate one, instead of, like, cheating and exploring before I do it, then, uh, say that in the comments, and if that gets voted most on, then I'll do that then. So, yeah, I guess that's gonna be about it for this one world wait wait what the hell was oh never mind okay um let me just test something with the single player command right now what what invalid number what can somebody tell me if you type what the um command is to return to the spawn in the game if that's not already it Cause I, I've tried that before and it don't work and I don't know why. But um, anyway, I've got a little timer going here so I know that I don't run out of time while I'm doing this. So um, oh my god, that's so annoying. When you're flying and you touch the ground and all of a sudden it's like you've just run like seven miles or something. And this is a pretty cool world if I do say so. So yeah. Um, I guess that's it for this world, and I'll see you on the next one in just a sec. Alright guys, we're back, and we're going to do the fourth one now. And I still, I, the only one that I really know what the seed is for is probably the first one, the Gargamel seed. Not the Gargamel seed, what the heck am I talking about? The um, Glacier seed. So, let me turn on Fly real fast. So I can get everything done faster. Yeah, um, now, to c now that you think about it, I don't really know why I chose this one. <laughs> it's just, like, super filled with trees. Let me turn on the fog, turn off the fog. I don't remember why I chose this one at all. 
Let's just go up and look around. Um, I don't really know. What is that? No, never mind. I was starting to say, this is kind of weird how it's like generating so slow. Oh, yeah, this is why I chose it. Like these super high mountainous areas. I love these because it's like so cool. I like to build, if I haven't already told you this, I like to build houses in crevices. And I'm not sure if I said that in this video or the last one. If you build them in a valley, it's kind of easy to find them. Or anything. Let's, um,. Keep looking around. There's some pretty epic stuff in this one, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry if I'm being quiet, I'm just letting you guys look at it while I'm flying around and stuff. Because it's really, really cool. Yeah, this is a pretty cool seed. Let's see what it looks from like from up above. Holy crap, that looks cool. Hold on, let me cut this down a little. And let's make us fly a little faster. There we go. I love the single player commands because you can like, it's like the fly mod, the um, too many items mod, all that other stuff in there and I still have too many items as you can see but I only have that f instead of like having to look up the code and everything and typing it in and stuff and um, yeah this world looks pretty cool over overall you know and um, there's a pig party down there and there's like a bunch of caves and overhangs and stuff and you know so if you want this world, give it consideration and post it in the comments if you do want it. I will see you on the next world in just a sec. Alright guys, welcome back and we're going to be checking out the um, fifth world. God, I can't speak. And um, this world looks pretty cool. I mean, fairly. I only chose it mostly because I needed a filler to fill up the fifth space because I thought four worlds would be kind of weird. I'm just like that OCD. But anyway, I love this world. I love all these worlds because they have so much variety and stuff. And I have the worst luck at spawning random worlds at anybody you have ever seen. I, I always spawn in a win, in like a winter biome or I spawn in a freaking desert. I don't know why, that's just my luck. And whenever I do spawn in a regular world, it's filled with trees and nothing interesting at all. So yeah, um God, let's make this a little faster. Fly three, yeah, there we go. Fly a little faster so we can explore. And like I said, if you guys don't want me to use one of these worlds, just post it in the comments. Use a randomly generated world or leave your own seed if you have to because I'd love to get seeds from you guys. That would be pretty cool. And when it comes back to the regular um, Let's Play, I probably won't use single player commands for pretty much anything except for what PBAT uses. Which would probably just be stuff like um, max stack and stuff so I won't have to like fill my inventory. What the f That was very weird. That must have been like a um, rendering error or something. I don't know. But yeah, if you don't want me to use one of these randomly generated worlds, just go ahead and post it in the comments and I'll generate one, though I'll probably have a sucky one. So you can either do that or you can post your own or seed or whatever. And if you do do that, um, I'll try each one out, and um, I will vote on which one that I want by you guys, but whichever one that gets voted the most, I will choose, and I've got to wrap this up in a couple seconds, so this is NASCAR Rule 77 signing out. See you on Episode 5.